What do you guys want? Waiting on some feed. We got to go to work today. I'm gonna do some more welding. Get this place ready to work. Hey guys, Dusty Baker across Timmers Bison. Welcome back to the Bison Channel. Good morning, Dakota Pure Calves. Good morning, Big Joe and the cows. Oh, so right here, guys, we are getting so close to working the bison uh, at the um, Dunbar Herd place, at the Dunbar Herd. Yes, we do need to call it something else besides the original place. I know, I know, I know. Um, but at Mom and Kevin's place, um, maybe we call it the Dunbar place. I don't know. Dunbar's Herd. Dunbar's home. Um, maybe something like that. But um, I'm out here today. And uh, what I'm doing this video is about is getting ready to work the bison. It's that time of year. We work them twice a year, once in the spring, once in the fall. We have to get these cows specifically right here worked because they hopefully will have babies soon. We could possibly have four over here at the Ponderosa. And it's going to be the first red dogs ever on this property and ever over here. So we are all very excited about that. Um, so we've got to get stuff ready i'm about to build an overhead right here we're gonna hang a gate we're gonna make it solid uh because this area right here matter of fact where these dakota pure calves are they're hanging out with me they're curious wanting to know what's happening they're actually gonna run through here and we're gonna run them through this area and this will be the working situation is right over here kind of where maya is but uh doc parsons gerald parsons from the stratford uh my, my bison guy who you hear that name quite a bit He's bringing his Berlinic system down, and he's got a really awesome hydraulic system. Uh, you may have seen it in some of my videos before. I wish I had one, uh, but he's bringing it down. And uh, just because we don't have a squeeze chute yet, we haven't we haven't done all that. Um, I'm not gonna get in a rush. I do want a hydraulic squeeze chute, but I'm not in a rush for it. So um, uh, I just didn't want to rush into getting one. Um, and they're very expensive, by the way. So what? we're going to do is he's going to bring his system down and I basically uh, pay him for that and his his uh, service his vet services too as well so um, he's only 35 minutes away which isn't bad for him to for him to come down here and bring his system it, he can pull it down here it's crazy it's a hydraulic system and it, it, it can break down really easy so um, oh we've got our single goose I don't know if you can hear This goose has been here for months <laughs> on the Ponderosa, hanging out down there at the pond all by itself. Just one goose. Um, I guess it's a female. She could have eggs, but she's been here the whole time. And uh, anyways, it's uh, been pretty neat to see her. She's just been hanging out at, the, at this pond with uh, the big Joe herd. Anyways, um, so I've got some work to do. That's what this is about. I've got some work to do here and at the Dunbar place. And so uh, to get ready to work the bison and um, there's a lot been going on around here. We're getting ready to build some fence also. Uh, but I'm gonna get to work on this and um, we'll catch you up on everything and get ready to work the bison.
I don't know if you guys could tell what I was doing, but what I was slowly doing, just an easy trick whenever you're by yourself. I'm trying to film up here for you, but you can, I made my cut there, made my saddle. You can kind of see the U down there on the first end. I set the pole up here and then this one was straight. And so I had to saddle it, but what you can do is you can set it up here and you can saddle it. And as you start to saddle it and fit it, this pipe will fit down into the saddle slowly. You can kind of mold your saddle to the pipe that you're um, setting it on, your top rail. And so that's what I did is I slowly trimmed this out and molded it to my two and three eighths pipe. So this is two and three eighths. This is two and seven eighths pipe. And when you use a smaller pipe, a lot of you may not know, but some of you may know, if you use a smaller pipe like this two and three eighths, it'll, it goes better and it'll saddle in here a lot easier. So um, that's just a little trick that I learned along the way. And maybe I learned it from somebody, but um, that's the most important part is right there. We are perfectly level. activity going on down here. I thought we had one goose. Now we have three. And so after you've done that, um, now it's just time to weld. I'm going to start here and, and weld this saddle and then I'm going to make my way over and start this one. This one's leaning a little bit. So what I've got to do is when, what happened was is it was level, but when I started welding it, it heated up and it started to move. So and I realized it too late. So what I gotta do is go ahead and bend this over a little bit after I get that weld in and we'll try to straighten this upright out, but it's not too far off. Make sure I've got same amount of hang off, of hangover on this side as here. It looks pretty good. About two and a half, maybe three inches and we're good. Time to weld it up. You. Let me see him. Put your glasses on. You put them on. <laughs> they look good, babe. Yeah.
Yeah. yeah. Hey, you better go hand dad some of those. Can you hand dad some of those zip ties? Go hand dad some. Hey, big Joe. All right, so what we're doing today is, this is the second time we've done this. I did a video of this at the um, first place. We started raising bison, um, the Dunbar herd place. And uh, what we did was we rolled the conveyor belt out, kind of figured out a system, but what Marissa did is she just came through and she pre-drilled some holes in here. And then we put our zip ties um, in here. We got some pretty durable zip ties this time from a friend and um we went ahead and put them all in there to get them ready because this stuff is heavy and uh, it's almost three feet wide so it really takes two people to do this and uh, we'll set it up here and you already have the zip tie in with the pre-drilled hole zip tie and we'll just hang it up a lot easier well hey hey babe do you want to go swing let's go swing Sit. Well, I can't sit on it. You want to sit on it? Whoa. Get on there. So I just took this section out right here. It's about a 12 foot section. What I'm gonna do is take uh, this 12 foot heavy duty gate that I got, it's already got a hinge on it. We use these a lot where we actually push the bison and we know they're gonna hit it. And so we've got 12 foot from here. I'm gonna take this little gate out and we're gonna tag in right here with this 12 footer. So I just cut this um, out right here. And uh, so what we'll do is the idea is to, for the bison to be in here at some point and then we'll run them in here. And now they have a way to go around. They already have a way to go around the barn on that side. Now they'll have an access this way. This fence has they hinged it backwards. If it was hinged here, we could open that one and open this one. So the idea is to take this um, maybe 12 footer and open it right here. And then we'll be able to take this 12 footer and open it right here and creates a, a lane. You'll see it once it uh, once it gets done.
there's the finished product right there. So what we're left of is a 12 foot gate, maybe another 10 or 12 over there. Got a little extra spare four foot gate. I can use that somewhere. All we're missing is a latch. Moment of truth right here. Got a little stopper because this gates, these gates are heavy and I put a little bottom on it to hold it up, keep some weight off the hinge. So there we go. So the idea is to open this one that already existed here. It's heavy duty too. It looks like the birds have been on it. So there's kind of that idea. And so we can run the bison in and out of here or here. They can go in here and we can run them, run them through. Here. So here's some stuff I've been working on. What this is, guys, is basically a catwalk. Um, what this is, this is a area where you really can't step up to see the bison. You have to step up on that crossbar there. But, what I'm doing is taking these old pieces. They're actually from the Ponderosa. Uh, some of the stuff like this. These are uh, two and seven eighths uprights that were used um, for uh, the front fence, the new front fence that uh, Marissa and I just finished and Kevin and I worked on for a while. So this is left over from there, just scrap pieces. Uh, it's two and seven eighths and that's a solid piece of pipe. What I'm doing is taking it I'm having to trim up uh, my saddle here and to fit that two and seven eighths. And then uh, what I'm gonna do is use rebar across the top and it's just a simple catwalk. So um, anytime you need to get up there and, and poke the bison a little bit and push them in the butt, anything like that or read a tag number because this is in close, uh, you can step up there now. And I've needed to do it for a while and now just finally getting to it. So. Hey guys, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it is nice to finally get all this work done. I still actually have a little bit more work um, to do. And unfortunately, <laughs> a lot of you bison producers probably know this as well, but you may be scrambling last minute um, to get stuff ready and set up and last minute touches. And I might be doing a little bit of welding too. To, um, so even a little bit more work to get these animals um try to get the people safe and the animals as safe as possible when you work bison. I know these bison people out there that may watch this, but you know that whenever you work the bison, every time you learn something new, and some of you may have done it for a long time. Um, me, I haven't done it for very long, you know, maybe three or four years. And every time that we work the bison, we make adjustments and we do something new. And so we've made a lot of big time adjustments on the handling facility as you can tell at the um first place we raised the bison where dunbar is located the dunbar herd um area and then then we're gonna work the bison for the first time at the ponderosa so which is very exciting the ponderosa has a lot of work to do we're not rushing on that i don't even have my own squeeze chute yet um, but we're looking to get a hydraulic squeeze chute for it for sure in the future hopefully by this fall we'll have a hydraulic um, squeeze chute like I said, Doc Parsons is bringing his system down. Um, he's got a mobile system and it's a hydraulic system and it is awesome. So he'll be bringing it down to, uh, he'll be bringing it down to use. Um, and so that'll be good. Uh, but I want to tell you something else that is exciting. One, we've got our meat back online. You can go check it out now. Um, got some different cuts. Uh, this time got some T-bone cuts and got a porterhouse cut. And so we've never done that before. Um, so that's exciting. And two, 
The other thing that I'm excited to tell you guys about is um, you can buy uh, Cross Timbers bison meat and jerky local now. Here in Sulphur, Oklahoma, my wife, um, Marissa, and my mom created a store, started a boutique several years ago together. And um, it's located in downtown Sulphur. It's called Rustic Blessings. Uh, guys, you can go by there now and you can... My mom pretty much runs it now. And uh, you can go by there. It's open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I think the store opens maybe at 1030 and it closes about five or six on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. You can go by there. It's in downtown Sulphur. It is called Rustic Blessings. And uh, you can go there. It's right across the road, basically, from the Artesian Hotel. And you can go check it out. We're selling bison meat there uh, that you can pick up and you buy from there. And our jerky as well. And so you may see my mom in there. And there's also there's, uh, there's some bison gear in there, too. There's some Cross Timbers uh, merch in there as well uh that may interest you so um just very excited to actually sell that stuff local instead of just online i, I like to be able to reach my followers and, and uh the supporters but um, now you can actually get it local that's out there for you just letting you know that's exciting for us and our family and to go in the store and and you can probably see my mom she may be in there working and you can see some of our merchandise as well so anyways thank you guys for watching and stay tuned because you know it's always a show it always is and unfortunately it is <laughs> when you work bison it is a show but um hopefully they work well and us spending time with them helps the situation um, when you work them so uh but this will be interesting this year because the big joe herd will be uh worked for the first time at the ponderosa and uh we should have calves soon so uh some exciting things happen around here so thank you guys for watching us and we'll see you next time